Right, so in this video, we're going to be taking a look at a hot tent oven. Now, this hot tent oven is the Outbacker one, so it's 12 kilos in weight. So it's not exactly a hiking, long distance stove to be carrying, unless you use like a, a pickup truck or you're going to a campsite and you're putting a tent up like this. Right, so here's the stove, the original Outbacker stove. Now, when you get it, it's not as big as you think it is going to be. We'll run some measurements later on. At the top here, you've got this little cut part what seems to be sticking out. That's your part where your pipe sticks to the stove itself. There we go. Take a look at that. Temperature gauge, so this side here the cooker, this side here the part where you have your fire, the stove. So when you get it out of the bag, you've got four legs, you just gotta like pull them into position. Airflow there. Now it doesn't have a dampener on the flute, so that means you do burn a little bit more wood than normal. If you had a dampener, you can reduce the airflow and the outflow, helping the wood burn longer. Set your top off here and then you can put a pan your kettle directly over the flames so in here this is where you keep all your shorter pipes that's your main top one You get a little tray. The Allen key is to fasten these handles on. Little ashtray there. That's where you have all your fire. So the glass here, it's got like a sticky seal, like a fire resistance rope. You have to place that onto the glass and then lock the glass in itself once again. Oh no, you don't use your shoes, like a little spanner. So you've got to position that yourself and same with your oven glass and in the oven is your longer tubes And then you get a little cooking tray and a little grill. So for your pipes, you get six of the longer ones and six of the shorter ones. Now what I've worked out you've got to do is get your top one then one of these shorter pipes should be I don't seem to have it on this one it should have, see that part there which is a little bit wider for the next one it should have double on there let's see if it's on the longer ones no it doesn't have it so I just clip together well, they're not clipped together, you just push them together extremely easily like that. So this is the one that I was looking for. Both ends have been made wider. That's where you, you spark one. Oops, sorry about that. That's where your spark one needs to go in there like that. And your next pipe fits onto there. There we go. I do prefer the ones that you just roll up, connect it to the stove and through the hole. I find them ones a lot better. These ones, just a bit faffy. And what happens when this metal expands, sometimes they'll bond together if you burn like birch wood in it. So birch wood's got like an uh, oil inside it. So if you do that, they can stick together and they're a bit of a nightmare to get apart. But this is what come with a stove. So let's get this set up 
and then we'll get on with next part lighting it and then we'll show you what I'm gonna cook see these here these little plates you unscrew them and what that means then is you can clean between this cooker and the top of the stove get all the soot away so it doesn't affect your burn time right so what i'm going to cook is this medium size chicken serves three to four people if this fits in it and you can cook this in it you can cook other things i've already tried in it just by placing it uh, one kilo of pork joint and that fitting all right so let's try and get this chicken in it but first thing we need to get the fire going and preheat the cooker The interesting the pot what I've just put on that's a fire maple my partner brought me for my birthday it's a kettle like a steamer as well I'll put the link in the description if you want to see that So what we're putting on here is all-purpose seasoning. Should be enough. Look at that for a fit. <laughs> That's absolutely perfect. Already, the chicken's only been in five minutes. And it's starting to make the tent smell really nice. So far, so good. Yeah, it's a, it's a heavy, heavy stove. But for this, you've seen me put the chicken in. Imagine what else I can cook in the winter. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. If you're not yet subscribed and you want to see me doing this sort of cooking with the hot tents in the winter time, please do consider subscribing to my channel. If you're already subscribed, you know what last year were like. This year, it's only just going to get better, in it? With stuff like this, we can stick some meat in there. We can have a pan boil on top with some vegetables. We can even make the stew again and put, I don't know, some Yorkshire puddings in the cooker. You know, big Yorkshire puddings, pour the stew inside. They're really nice, them sort of meals. It's, you know, yeah, it's, it's limited to the size of the cooker, but that medium chicken went in perfect. So, overall, I'm very excited to see what we can do this winter time. So the whole surface is absolutely red hot. It's a little bit cooler here, but over this side here it's absolutely roasting. So as you use the stove more through the evening time, all this will heat up. So there'll be no harm in putting another pan there, I think. That is something we will test later on down the line when I use this hot tank camping. So the possibility is you could do a pan there with some veg in it, something else in another pan here, push you've got your food in the cooker, this is going to be an absolute brilliant addition to my hot tent camping equipment. Well, if you ask me, I reckon this chicken is cooked. Oh, yes. A 
earlier when I run about the top of the stove will get hot all the way across. Well I put it back on and you clearly see but it's boiling from the corners. So yeah you could put a pan on top of there and boil some water. So earlier we are on about in the winter time to see what else we can cook. I can do the chicken, I'm very sure I can do all the sort of styles of meat in there. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. I'll take this one to like campsites, Ainfuss Woods where I go to, my local permissions. I can't afford like the super light ones, so this will have to do for the time being. But you've clearly seen how well it can cook. Mm. That flavouring what I put on at the beginning, that is absolutely beautiful. All purpose seasoning. Now, if you want to see more of me doing my hot tank camping and cooking things like this, you can press here to subscribe to my channel, it'll be somewhere down here actually, whatever it is on screen. You can watch another video up there, I'll put a hot tank camping video up there so you can have an idea. If you're already subscribed to my channel, thank you very much, you will be seeing this in some upcoming videos. But for now, thank you very much for watching and do leave your comments about the stove.